I'm Nige. And I'm Anders, don't you know? Uh, welcome to another episode of What Is dot dot dot, which is where we kind of find out where where certain teas come from, where they're processed. Nigel, explain to you. Yeah, well, we're looking at what is English breakfast tea. Uh, I hadn't thought anything about what exactly it was. I think this is the whole purpose of this channel. We're learning about tea. Exactly. It's it's kind and, of it's all over the place, isn't it? Breakfast tea. Yeah, and I'd never thought. I thought just tea for breakfast time, but okay, we've delved into exactly what it is. Well, we say we've delved into it. Nigel has been a bit generous there. I think Nigel yeah, well, has I've... delved into it. <laughs> Anders done a little bit, but mm. the basic is English yeah. breakfast tea is a blend of three teas. Broadly speaking, and so it's all black tea, yeah, and it will be is Kenyan tea, Assam, and Ceylon tea. So that that's that's the three elements that make it make up. Some might differ slightly, but I, that's on the whole. That's what makes up an English breakfast tea. Yeah, you, you have Irish breakfast tea, Australian breakfast tea, and so forth, and there'll probably all be deviations of of that or different quantities and so forth. So okay, let me. Let me ask you, then, in that case, I dare say this is like most teas. There's probably spurious and many derivations as to where it came from. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, no, before I just go on, it's meant to be a full-bodied, strong oh, tea. Yeah. But that's that's what they're aiming for. So. Okay. Uh, now, the first reference to breakfast tea was in America, and that was 18... 43. 43. That's the one fact I looked up. Yeah, and that was a Richard Davis. Was a t he was a tea merchant, and he, he had that been journaled and referenced somewhere. But they, again, they found a, another reference to that, dating it back to 1844. So that, America, 1843, 84, that's the first references. And they actually, I can't remember the three Ts. The reference that you did. Uh, I saw some Pico was one of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's yeah, a couple yeah. of teas that I'm not really aware of, to be honest with you. Now, in 18, let me have a look, 1884, Boa teas, uh, they they were exporting teas from uh, America to the UK. Mm -hmm. They're blending them and their blends. They were they were shipping into the UK, and so they called it the English tea. Because right. it's going to England. Okay. Uh, and that's another part of the English breakfast tea. Right. But the I first see. reference to proper breakfast tea in, in the UK was 1892. And that was a Scottish tea merchant called uh, Drysdale. And he had put a blend together using a Kenyan, Salon, and a Sam teas. Right. And while Queen Victoria was up at Balmoral that, that very year, uh, she sampled the teas. And, and now he was, he he marketed that tea because the English tradition was to have teas in the afternoon. So it was afternoon tea. That's when people drank their tea. And he 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 had the idea of that. Well, if you have a more oaty, robust, strong tea, that's just what you need to get you going in the morning okay he marketed right. it as a breakfast tea okay a scottish breakfast tea if you like yeah and so queen victoria loving this bought a big case of it took it back to england and it became known as english breakfast tea job done there we go yes so i think it's the queen victoria using it and that suddenly everyone else wanted it and that that's it just snowballed from there yeah exactly have you got a couple of, of British I tea. have. I've got Twinings. Oh, English really? Yes. What a surprise. Yes, tea bag. Really insane. Oh, marvellous. Because um, it's um, the first one I came across, if I'm honest with you. Exactly with me. Now, Anders and I, we've been doing this channel for a long time. Our tea cupboard, you open the cupboard up, and there's about a gazillion boxes. I thought, yeah. right, I need an English breakfast tea. And I was, first one, oh, Twinings. <laughs> Exactly the same here, yeah. So, um, but yeah, a, a jolly nice cup of breakfast tea. And, and it is. It's a full-bodied tea. It's and also because it was actually marketed because it was so full-bodied, 
you could have it with milk and if you liked some sugar as well because mm -hmm. the flavor was so strong it can take all that those extras being added to it right okay so there we go and it is oh that is a nice cuppa actually yes oh I'm really really enjoying that but it's time to go you know everything there is to know about english breakfast tea now yeah you do well i mean in some cases there'll be some sort of bbc six part series about the whole thing but yes for the time being Which which we'll be hosting, of course. <laughs> okay, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, but anyway, until the next time, thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye. Goodbye.